Good day everyone, I am Joshua Dia Belgas from BS Chemistry 2H1. Now we're going to talk about Atomic Absorption Spectroscopy or AAS. So what is Atomic Absorption Spectroscopy? Atomic Absorption Spectroscopy or AAS is one of the earliest elemental analysis techniques to be commercially developed. AES is an analytical technique used to determine how much of certain elements are in a sample. It uses the principle that atoms and ions can absorb light at a specific unique wavelength. The amount of light absorbed is measured and the concentration of elements in the sample can be calculated. When this specific wavelength of light is provided, the energy or the light is absorbed by the atom. Electrons in the atom move from the ground state to an excited state. The amount of light absorbed is measured and the concentration of the element in the sample can be calculated. In this particular video, we're talking about Flame Atomic Absorbance Spectroscopy or FAAS. Flame Atomic Absorption Spectroscopy was developed in 1952 and commercially released as an analytical technique in the 1960s. Since then, the technique was remained popular for its reliability and simplicity. Flame atomic absorption is a very common technique for detecting metals present in the samples. The technique is based on the principle that ground state metal absorbs light at a specific wavelength. When light of the correct wavelength is applied, the amount of light absorbed is measured and a reading of pore concentration can be obtained. Metal ions in a solution are converted to an atomic state by means of flames. Flame atomic absorption is a very accurate quantitative technique and we also use a good qualitative technique. This is one of the main reasons it is the most widely used for atomic absorption methods. In this slide, we can see the actual flame atomic absorption spectrometer. So how the machine works? The analyte is taken into the nebulizer where it is vaporized and conditioned to provide the best sample for the flame. The radiation sends light through the flame and into the monochromator. In the monochromator, the beam encounters a series of mirrors that separate the beam from any background light and noise that is not necessary for the analysis. This filtered beam is finally hits the detector and relays the data from the analysis software. And that's all. Thank you for watching.